this is on a timer. If you hit play, it's going to run for exactly five minutes. <laughs> so I'm Becca Atkins from ArtReach, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about ArtReach. I'm going to talk to you about our purpose, and then tell you a few of the ways that we've used collaboration over the years. First, a shout out to the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services in Connecticut. Um, they know that creativity heals. They have funded ArtReach as a mental health and arts agency since 1990 and we're very proud to have that partnership. Despite the fact that the Second Step Players Theater Troupe, our most known program, mercilessly <laughs> makes fun of the mental health system to create social change. The commissioners <laughs> have said before that we keep them honest. So we are currently a mental health and arts agency, and that means that we're a mental health agency that does classes and has performing troops, and the people who come to participate with us have psychiatric disorders. We're all over arts and healing. The interpersonal healing that happens in the group when you work together and learn to be good citizens in the world. You know, it takes teamwork to do performing arts. Also, the individual healing as people come and disidentify from their diagnosis, identify as an artist, and work on their craft. It's good for self esteem, and those skills spill over into employment, into what people do in the world. And we're also uh, actively trying to make social change because there is still a lot of stigma and negative stereotyping about people who have mental illnesses. So our comedy and our music and our showing up on stage as whole human beings really does help that. We currently have, I'm just going to do performing arts today. We still have the Second Step Players Theater Troupe, it's all things theater now. We also have a music program, you saw our jazz group in the lobby, and we do a 12 week program with volunteer musicians. In Comic Alchemy, our stand-up comedy team brings me to the first of our favorite collaborations. So we had to raise the bar on our writers uh, because we were used to sketch comedy. So we hired this guy from Canada, David Grenier, who's in Vancouver, to teach us on Skype. That's a great collaboration. So he taught our program members to mine their mental health histories and transmute their pain into comic gold. Now we have a whole team of stand-up comics trained by David who made their own material, who tour and do public performances at schools and at libraries and at conferences to educate about their personal experience. You get to meet people you really learn. This is one of the theaters that the comics performed in. Um, I love this collaboration too. It's leading into one with CT Improv from Hartford, and this is in their theater. Um, the CT Improv Troop came down and the collaboration worked like this. Their improv teachers taught classes with our folks and together we did a performance for Mental Health Connecticut. So we had the three agencies together for their Art of Wellbeing conference. They taught games that were suitable for performance on the spot and improv is scary folks. <laughs> but our program members with mental health issues performed with CT and our jazz band got to play at that same gig which was really nice. Now our music program consists of the jazz group that you saw out there and a 12 week program that involves two house bands with fantastic artists, musicians from the community who come and support our program members to develop songs that they want to perform in public. This was another great collaborative music project sponsored by Connecticut Office of the Arts that had Connecticut songwriters and musicians come and do, tell how they use music for social change. They did a workshop and then a concert and with Bob Bloom, we got to perform with him at the concert, which was cool. Second Step Players is still active, and what we're doing right now is a collaborative project with local playwright Cato McNichol and acting teacher and coach Emma Pelset Ray. So we used to just do sketch comedy about the system, but this year we've been working on more theater, which we always have to raise the bar because most of our program members have been there for 15, 20 years. So, you know, we keep up the ante. This was some photos from our pilot project last year. It was mono theater, your basic one person show. Some were comedies, some were dramatic pieces. We are hoping to fully stand up those shows if we get funding. We want you, artists, artists, other agencies to come and play with us. So if any of this sparks an idea for a collaboration, please do it or come and be a guest on our podcast because creativity heals. This is brand new, but we'd love to have you as a guest on our podcast. Thanks for your time. Thank you.